And this problem, we want to construct an open box um, that's made from a square piece of material, 24 inches on a side by cutting the squares from the corners and then turning up uh, the sides. So here is a figure that's given. Now what we're told here is this right here is 24 up and down. And then we're also told that this is 24 across like that. It says that we're uh, cutting equal squares from the corners and then turning up the sides. Uh, it says X is given here in this picture. So there's an X, basically the little box that we have here is a width of X and we have an X there. So this is X by X that we're actually taking out of each of these. So what we want to do is come up with an expression for this dotted line because the box is going to be folded along the dotted line. It's actually folded up to look like this kind of 3D one that we have here. So the way that we're going to express that is we're going to take 24 is all the way across, but then we're going to remove this little X and then that little X from it. And that's going to give us 24 minus uh, 2X would be what this dotted line actually is. Now going up and down, would be the same because if this is 24 and that's X and that's X here, that means that this dotted line up and down would also be the same thing, 24 minus two X. So this is again, uh, going up and down here would be the same. So this here is also 24 minus two X. That would be here to here. So now we've have each side of this dotted line here, each of those would be 24 minus two uh, X. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this up and it's gonna look like this picture here. So when I fold this, it's kind of, you can imagine this kind of being folded out of the page over there. So when you fold it up, we have a height of X there. And then each of these, we have 24 minus two X and we have 24 minus two X there because that's this side and that side because we're folding it along the dotted line. So if this gets folded up, that means all you're gonna see there is just the, the bottom going along here. So in this case, I've got 24 minus 2x and 24 minus 2x there, and I have the x is going up like that. What we're going to do for this is we're going to find the volume of a box. And so the, the formula for a volume of a box is going to be length with height on that. And so we're going to put in what we have on this. So the, the length of the box and the width are actually the same. We have 24 minus 2x, and then we have 24 minus 2x there. So we have each of these. And then the height of the box is going to be x. Now I can actually turn this into a, a function because I'm using the correct function notation now, v of x. And we can uh, clean this up a little bit here. We can do, this is gonna be x here. And then I have 24 minus 2x, that's gonna be squared because I have two of them together. So what I did was I moved the X out front like this. And then the other two, I just turned the square or two of these together. They're the same thing you're multiplying together. Then we can turn that into a square uh, like that. And so now that would be your uh, final answer. It says, write the equation for the volume of the box as a function of X. So that answers the first question. Now it says the second one here, it says, then find the volume when a three inch square is cut out. That means that your X value should be three. So this right here is your X value. So now I wanna find V of three, and I'm gonna put three in to this one. So I'll put three in for all of the X's there. And I'm just gonna simplify this uh, inside. So I'm gonna do 24 minus uh, six we have there. So we have 18, but 18 is uh, being squared. So we're doing, we're kind of following order of operations here because remember we have to do the uh, parentheses, we have to do the grouping symbols uh, first. So that's why we did that. And we did the 24 minus uh, six there um, to get 18. So now we need to uh, square that. And if we square that, that's going to be 324. So we have three times 324. And then the last step, would be just to multiply that by three. And we get our final answer of, it's gonna be 972. So 972, now this is gonna be the, 
the units that we have going on on this, um, we have really inches um, in here. That's going to give you an inch squared. And you have another inch that comes out from this one here. And so that's going to actually give you inches cubed. You'll have a cubic amount because the volume that would make sense when we have it. So it's because, again, you've got inches for the first one here and you've got inches being squared on the second one like that. And so then you get 972 and that is going to be your final answer for this one.